We travelled uh, 300 kilometres north from Kuvapiti uh, today. Uh, we've stopped here at uh, Agnes uh, Free Camp. Uh, it's actually a sign camp. Uh, the main road's probably about 400 metres up there. There's a lot of um, gravel parking, bitumen parking up there that people have taken. But we've actually followed the road right down to the back here. There's a fence line running along here, so that's as far as you can go. Uh, with all the fires and that, it's obvious people use this. And We've got in here about 2 o'clock, but I reckon that um, uh, by tonight there's going to be quite a few people around. So uh, we've hunkered down here. There's a bit of a creek down there. And we've actually got some flies today, so um, yes, they're interesting. Might have to get the net on if we uh, stay outside. But uh, it's been a good day, and uh, we're off tomorrow to Curtin Springs. Uh, try getting there early enough so that uh, we can get a, a camp and use that as our base for when we uh, do Ezra Rock Uluru. So, yep, happy days. So we decided to have a fire tonight. Uh, we've picked a site away from any grass and that, but. Uh, because so many people actually camp here, there's just no firewood. But uh, we're using some of the, uh, the coals that are left over from previous fires. But I've got this wood here, and uh, after looking around, couldn't find anything. But uh, we've had lots of floods here, um, well, well before we came. And what I've found is that uh, as the water came down here, it actually picked up any bits of wood. And check this out. I've got my bag there. All this wood is ready for the picking, and there's some really good pieces here. Look at that. Look at these pieces of wood. So, guess what? We're having a fire tonight. Good morning from Agnes Camp. Check out this labyrinth. Someone's gone to a lot of effort to make this maze. That's pretty cool. We're leaving Agnes Creek Free Camp and heading towards Curtin Springs. Uh, this was a really big camp there was lots and lots of room so your big rigs will get in here it's pretty level it probably pays to go right back in a little bit um, these guys here up on this uh, surface here would be close to the road i reckon you get a fair bit of road noise and there's a bit of metal a bit of a metal road here so it's very level And then uh, further over, you've got a bit of a shelter and some rubbish bins. They're all, all pretty full. That's about it. Good camp. I'd give it four out of five. Check out the labyrinth if you can find it. Yeah, we found it. We finally made it to the Northern Territory border. So Joey, have you ever been to the Northern Territory before? No, first time. And uh, mm -hmm. so you've been to all the other states? Yes. Okay, so we're actually not quite there yet. We might just spin the car around and um, check out the information. So we're trying to get to uh, Johnson's Geodetic Station, uh, which is up over there. Uh, but we've got to go through a couple of gates first. And uh, we'll see how we go. Thank you, Joey. So we're just having a quick stop here to uh, check out uh, Johnson's Geodetic Station. Uh, being a cartographer surveyor, it's actually quite uh, important that uh, I got to see that. And it's uh, just there. Wow. We're turning off at Uluru onto Lassiter's Highway. Which is a B4. And there's the Shell Garage that is really expensive. Luckily, we're not using fuel there, Joey. So we heard. So we heard, yeah. 
speed and red light cameras in use in the Northern Territory. Uluru, here we come. Fasten your seatbelts for this one. Well, we're coming into Curtin Springs and look at that big rock. It's not Ayers Rock or Uluru though, it's Mount Connor. I think it fools a lot of people um, because that's the first rock you see from the distance. But um, I think we have to wait a little bit longer to see Ayers Rock or Uluru. We're coming in to Curtin Springs. Free camp. This is a typical morning at the Curtin Springs Free Camp at the Curtin Springs Station. Heaps of people coming and going, leaving the vans early to go and see uh, Uluru Airs Rock. So at uh, Curtin Springs uh, Cattle Station, uh, they've got uh, diesel and petrol here. Um, diesel at the moment's uh, $2.95. Um, there's showers over there for $4 a shower. Yeah, you got your toilets. Uh, you've got a really good little store in here. Uh, and also a really good uh, eatery. Make sure you come out the back uh, behind the restaurant because they've got lots of uh, birds here um, for you to have a look at. Hi guys! And then down the end there's a couple of cockies. What you doing? What's your name? What you doing? Hello Cocky. Hello Cocky. How you going? What's he doing up there? What's he doing up there? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you got, you got me a beauty there, didn't you? Yeah, you got me a beauty. What are you doing? Oh, you got your tongue out. You took your tongue out at me. Oh, well, that's very clever. We've got some other birds out here. But uh, the ones out the back are quite special. I'd say they uh, replace these ones now and then. So you can actually um, get Telstra and Optus here uh, texting, but the actual phone calls are really sketchy. They come in and out. Um, just a hot tip, uh, these pay phones are free nowadays for uh, local and national calls. So make sure that uh, you take advantage of that if you need to ring your kids or uh, make bookings as you go along the road. Okay, we've just uh, camped next to these guys, and we've got Jake and Shannon, and they're from Babylon Luck. Yeah, Babylon. Yes. <laughs> cool. And there's bossy boots over there. <laughs> a pretty good uh, sticker collection there. Yeah. And uh, that would be probably the best one you've got. That one there, I reckon. No doubt. So. Front and center. So you reckon you'll actually fill it all up in your travels this time, or what happens when you finish it? Go to the other door. Other door. Oh, you got two doors, that's two true. Two doors inside here. Yep. And what's your name? Your name is Traveling. Traveling Lux. And Lux. Beautiful. That's us. Cool guys. Good to meet you. Yeah. So we're on our way out to Uluru to um, have a look at Uluru and um, have a ride around on our push bikes. And uh, we're just noticing the uh, sunrise behind us. So. We're looking forward to uh, getting to a place where we can uh, see the rock uh, as well as the sunrise and uh, we'll show you what's happening. So Joey's got the same view in her mirror. It's a bit magic. So we park on the road and uh, we're heading up to see the sunrise and Uluru, which is over there. We actually got up here so that uh, we can see Uluru over there. Joey's taking some photos. And we've parked down there. A little bit of a climb up here. But well worth it. What do you reckon, Joey? Yeah, it's colder. <laughs> it is a bit cold, isn't it? So we're actually waiting uh, for the, the sun to come up. You can tell that it's happening because the clouds over there are starting to turn pink. Um, we've got... We're turning blue. We're turning blue. Because <laughs> it's getting colder. Because <laughs> it's getting colder. Uh, we've got Uluru Airs Rock over there. And then, I don't know if you can see, but over there you've got the Olgas. And uh, they're starting to light up as well. Look at the colour of this sand. It's 
amazing. It's a little bit like waiting at the dawn service. Um, it's cold, it's exciting, um, and you're just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Check out the size of this uh, road train. So I've actually noticed all these little footprints down here. So there's some sort of little uh, animal that lives here. And I just realised that that's where they're living. That's the little holes there. They're actually living there. Haven't seen what they are, but uh, there's little footprints everywhere. And they can wake up every morning and see Uluru. Lucky little buggers. We're heading towards Uluru. There she is. We're to the uh, park entry here, this is where we pay our fees uh, and then uh, we're heading on to the cultural centre to hire a push bike or two push bikes. So ticket sales right to your holders left so we've got to buy our tickets and this is where we buy our tickets. We're all ready for adventure. We've just uh, come through, parked the car. Uh, we've got the rock up there. We're going to the uh, cultural centre over there uh, to try and find out where our metal steeds are. What do you reckon, Joey? Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah, it's a bit warmer than it was this morning. Yes. There we've got pictures of us. There's me and there's Joey, male and female. Actually out back cycling, so this is actually where we've hired our bikes today. So done this here. So we've obviously got some pink ones. We've got our helmets on, ready to go. Joey's got a helmet on. Millie. How's it going, Joey? So we're uh, just started our ride and we're heading towards the big rock on our little bikes. Okay, so back in the day when you could go up the uh, rock, this is where you used to walk to the top. You used to have a, uh, a chain going up and it used to actually start about there which was a nerve test and if you actually made it to there then you'd go up to the top and then make your way right over to the uh, summit. So at the start of our ride around uh, Uluru we've got to go anti-clockwise and I believe the walkers have to go clockwise so we don't um, trip over each other and um, let's go. Let's go. So we're doing the shady side first which is a bit cold because uh, it's actually um, still morning. It's probably the incentive to get around here into the sunshine. So you've got to be a bit careful. Some of these tighter tracks here are quite boggy and uh, oh they're sandy, yeah they're sandy but you did bog, yes. I was wrong again. Here comes the sun, little darling. Sun at last, coming our way. So walking down to the water hole. I like these uh, chairs. This is the water hole. And it obviously fills up from all the water running off the rocks. And all the little birds come down here to get their water. Wow, look at that. No swimming, Joanne. No swimming. I won't be swimming. It's a bit too cold for swimming today. It's like a little wave rock. We're about a third of the way around going um, any clockwise, and I'm glad to say they do have toilets here. So um, you don't need to hold on all the way around. You can go to the toot, and there's also water and a first aid point up there. So there's the Segway tour. These guys are doing it nice and easily. We're doing it the hard way. Morning. Morning. We're getting chased by Segways. A few more people on the track this time. Is the Segway still following me? No. 
Being chased by segways. Hi yeah. kids, how you going? Come on, Joey, quickly. The segways are after us. They're all coming after us. Quick, Joey. Segway people, I reckon they must have taken a shortcut because they beat us back. I was just talking about the Segway people. They took a shortcut, they must have beaten us back. Yeah, they went along the road. So, Jerry, we made it around uh, the bottom of Ayers Rock, Uluru. Uh, I must admit, last time I was here, this is years ago, I actually climbed it. And I actually reckon the experience this time of going around the bottom was much, much better. And um, like going when you're walking it, you're just sort of going up and one step after the other. But to ride around and stop where you want to see things, that, that was really good. Did you like it? Yep, it was wonderful. I haven't got a butt or, yep. any, or any knees left. But oh no, you're needless. She <laughs> she needs some new needs. I just got to have a break. Come on, Joey, you're just about there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Just. Let's get smiling on the way in. Here we go. Smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> We're just about here. We're just about making it. And there's our tour guide. He's looking after us. He's the mechanic. He looks after the bikes. Yay. <laughs> we made it. Okay, so this is the uh, Outback Cycling. Uh, this is the Outback Cycling uh, book online uh, bicycle hire. And they have really good bikes. We have really good bikes. You get to see it in your own time. Yep. And, um, yeah, you get a good look at the rock. And you go faster than the segways. So the uh, stats around the rock was um, 15 kilometres point one, and it took us 2 hours and 19, and we're taking it nice and slowly. Check out this VW. This is this uh, Catan and Maxine's van, and they're children. They've got BF Goodrich tyres. Not a bad setup. Seen some action. Catch you on the road, guys. So here's a view of the uh, old ones you don't normally see. We actually have uh, driven around to the uh, western side and we're going to go and have a look. But uh, normally you would see it from um, the north east side. So we're doing the uh, gorge walk at the Augers and you can see those little ants up there, they're people. So uh, what do you think about that, Joey? I might get there, but then again I might not. So it's a big day today, you've had your bike ride and now you're doing a walk. I know, I'm exhausted. I'll the <laughs> You see that weed up there, right up there? Do you reckon you'd go and get that weed for me? Yeah, I could do that. That rock needs weeding. Okay. Thank you. Check out all the birds. So when I started, I put the rock there, and the shade was cutting across there. But in the time it took me to walk to the top back here, the shade's at the bridge. So we've cycled around the uh, the rock. We've actually been out to the Olgas and uh, went up the gorge there, which is quite good. Um, we're just uploading our latest um, Big Lap 3 uh, movie. Uh, we've emptied our portaloo. So we're getting ready for the sunset. Uh, got the tripods ready. Got Uluru ready. We've got Joey ready here. We're cooking some tea. 
We've got our chairs and we're ready to enjoy. We're on a bit of a bend, so I've uh, put out the emergency lights just to make sure no one misses the corner and hits us. But uh, this is us here, set up, doing a um, time lapse and taking some professional shots of Uluru. So here's uh, fellow vloggers, now or never. And they're getting ready to go to Uluru today. Let me get sleep. 